Hello everyone. So now let's do the telnet configuration. If you remember in our ASA firewall, what we done before, we learn how we can secure the console, how we can put the password to the console. We learn this one. Now we will see how we can configure the telnet. Because if you remember, in the real scenario, uh, we will go, we will take the console cable, we will connect the console cable to the ASA firewall, and we will do the configuration. We need to go to the server room and we need to do the configuration. But if you have, uh, if you need to change anything, every time you need to go to the server room. And this one is difficult because you need to take the permission from the manual manager, and you need to get the approval. And there is a security gate. You need to pass that one. You need to put your fingerprint to open the door access. So many issue you have. Every time you cannot go easily to the server room. So what we will do, we will configure here the telnet. So by sitting in your DEX, you can access easily the firewall. Okay. So no need to go each and every time in the cool environment. You have AC running here. This the room of the server room will be very cool. So to avoid each and everything, what we will do, we will configure the telnet so we can access our ASA by sitting in our office. No need to go to the server room. Okay, so let's see how we can configure the telnet. If you see, this is a ASA firewall. Already we configured the IP address and we have the IP address. Now we are going to learn how we can put the how we can configure the telnet in the ASA firewall. So first thing we will go in the global configuration mode and then what we will do, we will write telnet. Okay, and then we need to write the network ID. If you want to allow complete this uh, subnet. Imagine you want to allow complete subnet, we can allow complete subnet or you want to allow all subnet whatever is coming, we can do that one also or only you want to allow particular this IP, we can do that way also. Okay, so first I will show, I will show, we will assign only particular one IP. So first of all, we will write telnet and then we will write 192.168.1.1. Okay, this is a 1.1 this device I am allowing. So 1.1, .1, then give a space, then write 255.255.255.255. .255 .255. What is the meaning of this one? If you see here, check this I, this one, check this portion, check this portion, check this portion. If everything is matched, then only allow. That's why I put 255, 255 all the time. And then this is allowing from inside or outside. If you remember, before we told this is our land side. This is our van side and we told this is a inside and this is a outside. Okay, so this one is outside. Now we are going to allow inside. So I will type here inside. Let me write inside. Inside and press enter. And we need to allow the password. So I will write PASS WD. Remember this is a spelling. If you need to put the password for the telnet, PASSWD, not the PASSWRD. Okay, for telnet, PASSWD and give password. In example, I will give admin. Okay, so with this way, I configure the telnet for only one IP, this IP only. Let's go and this is the R1. Let me check what do we have the IP or we need to assign to the interface. Okay, here I don't have the IP. Let me assign. Okay. Let me go to the global configuration mode. I will go to the interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0. I will write IP address 192.168.1.1255.255.255.0 and I will write no, no shut. Okay, I configure the IP. Let me show show IP interface brief. So we have the IP. Let me ping the IP from this 192.168.1.100. Okay, I assign this 1.100. This is the 1.100. So I can ping that one also. So let's see. I allow the telnet so I can telnet or not. I will write telnet, then I will put the IP address. So what is the IP? 192.168.1.100. This is the IP of the firewall. If you see, when I put telnet, I am doing in the R1. I am here standing in the R1. I am telneting this IP, this interface IP, 192.168.1.100. So it is asking me the password. Okay, it is asking me the password. Password I keep admin. I will write admin, then I can access the ASA firewall. Enable, enable password I keep admin. So I am here. I can write show interface IP brief just to check the interface status. 
okay so what i done i am able to access the telnet i am able to access the fortigate uh, i am able to access the esa firewall by using the telnet okay let's see this is another ip i can access or not let me open this one this is the window xp machine okay you can use anything i am having the window xp currently so i am using that one let me check do i have ip here or i need to assign the ip let me assign the ip here okay so let me go to the lan here go to ipv4 and assign the ip here what is ip 192.168.1.2 and this is a default subnet mask 192.168.1.100 is a gateway and dns we are not using but let me put 8.8 .8. later we will use this one 8.8 .8, 1.1 okay so i assign the ip address now to this machine and from this window machine we will try to telnet the device and it will not work i will show you that because i allow only for one ip i can use this putty software i can go here telnet it is working in the port 23 tcp protocol i need to write the firewall ip if you remember firewall ip what we have we have this 192.168.1.100 okay so let me write 192.168.1.100 1.100 and let me press ok but i cannot access because i did not allow i allow only one ip i allow only one ip that's why i, I am unable to access so what i will do i will go to the esa firewall now i will allow for the two ip or maybe for subnet or i will allow for all the subnet how we can allow let me show you see here here same configuration in this place i will remove this i will put zero okay and here also i will put zero so with this one i will allow for this subnet 192.168.1.0 this complete subnet i am allowing now so this guy also from the same subnet so this guy can also access now let me show you that one let me create the new session telnet and then i will write here 192.168.1.100 this is a firewall ip and now if you see i can access i will write admin now i can go for the fortigate fire uh, the asa firewall okay and now let me show you the other one method also if i want to allow all the subnet how i can do i will show you that also example i want to allow for all subnet then i will write here instead of this all ip i will write zero 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 inside that means everyone allow everyone okay allow everyone from the inside because we are writing inside so it is allowing from the inside if you want to check the configuration you can write show run telnet so whatever telnet commands we, we write that will come this all telnet timeout is 5 by default this is a timer so we will not do anything the configuration what we done till here first we told only for this ip then we told for complete subnet then we told any subnet they, that will allow so this is ip address this is a subnet mask this is the inside okay so what we learn here how we can configure the telnet let's do for outside also by default even if you configure it will not allow for outside okay which interface is outside if you want i will write here show ip if you check by writing this one show ip this ethernet 0 is outside if you see this is a ethernet 0 is outside ethernet 1 is inside this is a ethernet 1 and inside this is a inside okay so what i will do i will configure the telnet now in the asa firewall for outside so same command i can use i can use this one telnet 00 because i want to allow for all subnet from the outside i will write here outside i will press enter okay now outside i have one router r2 this is r2 so let me check here let me do the configuration in this router i think we don't have any configuration i will write do show ip interface brief no i don't have any ip so first i will assign the ip fast ethernet 0 by 0 this is the fast ethernet 0 by 0 ip address 192.168.2.1 255.255.255.0 then i will write no shut okay i will save the configuration now i will telnet what i will do i will telnet this 
firewall IP, this 192.168.2.100. Let's see it will work or not. It will not work, but anyhow, let's see 192.168.2.100. Okay, because Telnet is uh, not secure. If you remember, Telnet protocol is not secure. If you are getting here, this duplex error is coming because switch is full duplex, router is half duplex, that's why it is coming no issue. I can remove that error. But now if you see here, it is not working. It is trying, but it is not working. Telnet is not working. So for, uh, we need to remember ASA firewall. ASA firewall is not allowing anyone to do the Telnet from the outside. Okay. It is disabled because Telnet is not secure. First of all, let me go to this interface, fast Ethernet 0 by 0. I will write here duplex full. So we will not have that error. Okay. Now let me do telnet. If you see, this is a telnet command. I will write again. It will not work because I am trying to access the ASA firewall from outside. And telnet is not secure. And ASA firewall is not going to allow telnet from the DMZ and also from the outside. So this one we need to remember. We are going to use the telnet from inside only. Okay, if you see it is not working. Okay, so what I done here, I configure the telnet from inside, outside, everywhere I configure. Let me show you what I configure. I write show run telnet. This is a telnet configuration. Okay, this one I done for outside. And outside we configure, but it is not working because ASA is not going to allow anyone to telnet from the outside. And this one I configure inside particular one IP. We can use this method if you want to do, or if you want to allow complete subnet, we can use this method. And if you want to allow complete subnet, not only the 1.1 .1 subnet, 192.168.1.0 subnet, you want to allow 2.0, 3.0, we can use this one also. Okay, so this way we can configure the telnet in the ASA firewall. So remaining stuff we will see in our next class. We are going to learn other stuff what we can do in the essay. Okay.